But making the infrastructure of Canada's internet more robust is, is really fundamentally a long-term goal of CIRA. And with this in mind, internet exchange points, or uh, also known as IXPs, so one more acronym for, uh, for your glossary, those were identified as a priority for CIRA, for the organization this year. So for those of you who aren't really familiar with internet exchange points, um, the, the fact that we don't have many, we have one major one uh, in Toronto and a, a smaller one here in Ottawa, results in the fact that much of Canada's domestic internet traffic actually flows outside of this country before eventually reaching its destination back inside the country. And that can be as straightforward as I send an email to my neighbor across the street and it may transit Chicago before it gets to the guy that I can yell across the street to. What IXPs do is allow network traffic to take fundamentally shorter and faster paths between member networks, improving the traffic flow uh, on the internet and certainly on the major backbones, helping not only to improve performance but reduce congestion uh, on the various major network backbones. And we've been working with a number of community-based organizations from across the country in an effort to facilitate the development of more IXPs across Canada. And just to give you a comparison, the U.S. has 85, we have two. Brazil has 36, Tanzania has two. So it gives you a bit of a sense of where we are in terms of the development of internet exchange points. Because fundamentally internet exchange points are about uh, enhanced performance, improving uh, security, speed, network resilience for sure, while maximizing the amount of traffic that stays domestic in Canada while it transits from point to point in Canada. And to this end, we're working closely with uh, the Canadian internet community to develop a viable IXP infrastructure in this country.